Harvested cherries, the red or yellow depending on the variety, are either processed through the wet, also known as washed process, or the dry, also known as natural process. The anatomy of the coffee cherry will help us understand the processing methods better. So on the outermost part you have pulp, followed by mucilage, then parchment, then silver skin, and right at the heart of it is the green bean. The dry or natural processing of coffee is pretty straightforward. Cherries are harvested and then dried with the fruit on them or the pulp on them until they attain, say, 20% moisture content. The end result at this stage is dry, hard cherry pods. Coffee processed this way generally has characteristics of more syrupy body, complex sweetness and more fruitiness, sometimes even bordering on winey. Then you have the honey process. This has recently gained popularity around the coffee world. It's somewhere in between the washed and natural process. So after the pulp is removed from the seed, the coffee is straight away dried with a slippery organic matter known as mucilage on it. And depending on the amount of mucilage left, the coffee will either be a black honey, a red honey, a yellow honey or a white honey processed coffee in decreasing amounts of mucilage or sugars left on the outer skin. The end result here is what I visually say is stained parchment. Coffees processed this way fall somewhere in between clean clarified flavor of washed coffee and having hints of fruit and delicate body as a natural coffee. In the washed process, the cherries need to be pulped, meaning that the fruit is completely removed from the seed, either manually at the farm using hand-operated pulpers or in bigger pulping machines that are operated electrically. The aim is to prevent or minimize fermentation, thus pulping is done within 12 to 24 hours of harvesting. After pulping, in the washed process, the seeds are soaked or fermented in large volumes of water inside washing channels for varying number of hours depending on the flavor profile desired to remove the slippery covering on them, which we said is known as mucilage. This leaves the seeds in an outer protective cover known as parchment and they can be dried to a desirable moisture content of say 20%. Coffees processed this way have higher acidity, have a cleaner or more clarified flavor, and bring out their intrinsic qualities. All coffee is generally stored in either pod or parchment before shipment in a cool dry store in order to increase the shelf life and protect it from external damage. Most local coffee factories and privately owned estates only handle coffee to this stage. And since there is some added value, they fetch slightly higher prices in the value chain in this form as they trade it to the next stage of processing, which we will explore in our next video. Variety is the spice of life.